The Outer Banks in North Carolina have been popular destinations a long time before the Netflix show of the same name came out. Also known as OBX, this chain of barrier islands, sandbars, and spits is geologically and culturally unique, offering an experience you can't get anywhere else. Also, the fact that it offers over 100 miles of gorgeous golden beaches doesn't hurt either. Here are the best things to do in the Outer Banks, North Carolina. Hit the beach. The Outer Banks is a chain of barrier islands stretching over 200 miles. Naturally, there are plenty of beaches to choose from. Visiting the beach is one of the best things to do for families, couples, or travelers with pets. While it's easy to assume that if you've seen one beach, you've seen them all, it's worthwhile visiting several. Two of the most popular are Nags Head and Kitty Hawk Beach. They're both wide and their warm yellow sands stretch for miles. Pitch an umbrella and settle for a day of relaxation, swimming, stand-up paddleboarding, or frisbee in the sun. If you're traveling with pets, most beaches in Outer Banks are pet-friendly if your furry friend is on a lead. However, the beach on the town of Duck allows your dogs to run off lead as long as they're listening to you. And because beaches are so popular here, this isn't the last you'll hear from us about seaside attractions. Roanoke Island This island was one of the first areas populated by European colonists in the U.S., in fact, this is where the first English child, Virginia Dare, was born. However, the fascination with Roanoke Island centers around it being the Lost Colony. At some point between the years 1587 and 1590, the colonists disappeared from the island, never to be seen and recorded again. This enduring puzzle has enraptured mystery enthusiasts for centuries. A visit to the modern Roanoke Island offers visitors a chance to explore the earliest days of English colonization in the U.S. While the island has plenty to offer, history and mystery buffs will have plenty to see here. The settlement site is a reenactment of what a 16th century colony would look like, staffed by passionate enthusiasts. American Indian Town is a newer attraction and represents what a coastal Algonquin settlement would have looked like. And if the high seas interest you, climb aboard the Elizabeth II, a striking Tudor-era tall ship that is begging to be fully explored. And for those curious about the disappearance of the colony, be sure to catch a showing of The Lost Colony. This outdoor symphonic drama, first staged in 1937, tells a dramatized version of the events of the colony's disappearance, as imagined by Paul Green. Waterfront Dining the natural beach beauty in the Outer Banks is one of its main draws. So when you're dining out, why not take advantage of the scenery and grab a bite with a great view? While there's plenty of great food in OBX, here are some seaside highlights. Fishhead's Bar and Grill near Nags Head is a local favorite, and it's easy to see why. 40 beers on tap to choose from, 15 cent shrimp from 4 to 6 p.m., a long boardwalk extending into the tranquil waters, and a relaxed and chilled vibe. Take a seat, enjoy the waves, and fill up on shrimp tacos, burgers, and great beer. Also at Nags Head is Sugar Creek Restaurant, that's another standout, offering seating on the pier above the ocean. There's even an opportunity to watch wildlife and waterfowl roam. Add to that a menu of award-winning grills and fresh seafood, and you have a winner. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of the Outer Banks. Lighthouses. The Outer Banks is famous for its rough coastline. It earned the nickname Graveyard of the Atlantic for a reason. As such, the islands are dotted with iconic lighthouses that should be visited. With 17 lighthouses scattered across the Outer Banks, it's easy to find a few nearby to visit. The Cape Hatteras Lighthouse stands out for miles, day or night, especially with its black and white spiral paint. This lighthouse is world famous and can even be climbed all the way to the top depending on renovations. The area around the lighthouse should be explored as the structure has a long and interesting history. And, or you can just soak in the view and take some great photos of an iconic landmark. Jeanette's Pier. This concrete structure extends a thousand feet into the Atlantic and is a popular destination for sightseeing, awesome photo opportunities, and world-class fishing. Besides being the longest pier in North Carolina, Jeanette's Pier is also a beacon of sustainability. The electricity for the pier house and public bathhouse is generated by three wind turbines, which make the pier easily recognizable at a distance. In addition, there are two aquariums, one above the pier house and the other beneath. Whether it's to cast a line, learn more about sustainability, or just take some great photos, Jeanette's Pier shouldn't be missed. Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge Created in 1984 to protect the Pocosin wetlands, the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge is an area of nature unlike any other. Spanning 152,000 acres, the refuge is home to a wide variety of animals and is one of the best things to do in the Outer Banks. It offers nature lovers a chance to see a number of animals in their natural habitat. 
it lives up to its name and there's a population of American alligators patrolling the water. Besides that, this is one of the few places to see red wolves in the wild. A successful breeding program means these elusive predators are thriving here. It also hosts the eastern seaboard's largest black bear population, so these creatures are a common sight. The park is best explored in the Wildlife Drive, a self-driven tour of more than 15 miles of road crisscrossing the park. Two wheelchair accessible hikes are available, which offer excellent opportunities for birding. And to get even closer to nature, guided canoe tours are available too. Duck, North Carolina This humorously named town is a recommendation as it offers Outer Banks charm and a connection to the natural environment that shouldn't be missed. The highlight is the Duck Boardwalk. This wooden walkway stretches almost a mile and wraps around Duck Town Park. The park itself has seaside forests, natural swamps and wetlands, and amazing views of the open water. And when you're done, grab an insta-worthy dessert from Duck Donuts and keep exploring the quaint streets. Wright Brothers National Memorial and Museum This memorial is a 60-foot granite structure on top of the hill where the Wright Brothers practiced and experimented. From atop the hill, you'll have spectacular panoramic views of the island. Branching from that spot is marked walkway, indicating where the first flights took place, allowing you to walk along and appreciate how far we've come in a relatively little time. And be sure to check out the attached museum to learn more about the history of flight. Jockey's Ridge State Park Home to the tallest sand dunes on the Atlantic coast, Jockey's Ridge State Park is an outdoor experience well worth visiting. These towering dunes make for an adventure lover's paradise, and there are plenty of activities and fun to be had. Jockey's Ridge State Park is the Outer Banks' home to wind sport. Whether it's kite flying, windsurfing, or hang gliding, these dunes are the place to be. There are even special hang gliding classes to attend, and prospective flyers will be airborne in no time. And if the wind isn't quite your flavor, be sure to check out sandboarding. The park also offers several hikes through the maritime environment. These take you over the dunes and boardwalks and are a great way to soak in the views. Cape Hatteras National Seashore Extending more than 70 miles and covering an area of over 30,000 acres, the Cape Hatteras National Seashore is a pristine and protected area of seaside beauty waiting to be explored. Established in 1937, the National Seashore is intended to keep as much of this maritime environment protected as possible so anyone can enjoy the beauty. Visitors are encouraged to enjoy the beaches, boardwalks over swamps and wetlands, soak in the sunsets, gather around campfires, and even spend nights camping in one of the four campgrounds. Take advantage of the waves with surfing, swimming, and bodyboarding. And enjoy the nature by going birding or trying to spot native seals and other animals. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in the Outer Banks? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.